So dystopian societies are like blueprints of a house you haven't built yet. So people read them and what the reader is really being asked to think is, is this the house you want to live in? And if the answer is no, take a different road, design a different house, uh, decide that you will live in that better house rather in this dystopian house that has been described to you. So unfortunately, we're not very good at building heaven. It has been tried, <laughs> but we're you quite have... good. And quite, we're quite good at building hell. Do you think writing about dystopias can be a way of bringing about change? Well, dystopian. Uh, fiction which describe man-made unpleasant societies and and this virus is not man-made oh uh, it's had dystopian effects but it wasn't planned nobody said let's have a pandemic hooray um so dystopian societies are like blueprints of a house you haven't built yet so people read them and what the reader is really being asked to think is is this the house you want to live in and if the answer is no, take a different road, design a different house, uh, decide that you will live in that better house rather in this dystopian house that has been described to you. So unfortunately, we're not very good at building heaven. It has been tried, <laughs> but we're you quite have... good. And quite, we're quite good at building hell. And uh, most, most dystopian details are drawn from from history, you know, they've already been done. Exactly, and this isn't the first time that you're experiencing quarantine. Um, you have experienced quarantine before as a child. Yes, well, people who are as old as I am uh, grew up at a time when a lot of these vaccines were not available. So quarantine was, was a pretty frequent uh, thing to see. You would see a great big yellow or red sign on somebody's house saying quarantine and nobody could go in and nobody could come out and people delivered things to the front door as we are doing now and uh, people died. In fact, a lot of children died of these diseases like diphtheria and polio uh, for which there were not yet any vaccines. So then generations came along that did get vaccinated and they weren't used to occasions like this. So young people are thinking, oh, nothing like this has ever happened before. But in fact, it was, it was regular before these diseases were brought under control. Small, smallpox was a huge killer uh, before vaccination became, became widespread and it's enormously infectious and almost always fatal. So people died in droves. Um, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm kind of used to it. And, and now we're gonna have a whole generation of young people who've had this experience. And if it happens again, they will know much better what to do. If you've enjoyed the conversation that you just heard, do subscribe to our channel for much more.